completing the square. Ano nga ba ang completing the square? Bakit nga ba ito ginagamit? At paano nga ba ang paraan ng paggamit nito? Welcome na naman sa channel ko mga kanumero. Kung bago ka lang dito, please like and subscribe para mas marami tayong matulungan sa pag-aaral ng mat. Umpisa na tayo mga kanumero. So ano nga ba ang completing the square? Ito ay isang process kung saan kinagawa mong perfect trinomial ang isang equation na originally hindi naman perfect trinomial. Siguro naguguluhan ka kung ano ang perfect trinomial o non-perfect trinomial. Huwag ka mag ka numero. Ganyan din ako. Dati. Pero ituturo ko kung ano ito. Tignan natin ang halimbawa na ito. x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0. So, paano natin ma-check kung ito ba ay perfect or non-perfect trinomial? May dalawang rules na kailangan masatisfy para ma-check ito. Una, kailangan natin i-take ang square root ng leading term at ng constant. Pero dapat ay wala tayong makukuhang butal or sobra sa sagot para masatisfy natin ang unang rule. So, itry natin. Square root of x square is equals to x. Square root of 16 is equals to 4. So, wala tayong nakuhang butal sa sagot natin. Satisfy ang unang rule. Pangalawang rule ay kailangan natin multiply yung 4 sa x and then multiply it also by 2. Ang makukuha nating sagot ay dapat equal sa middle term natin para masabi natin na perfect trinomial ito. So, 4 times x multiply it by 2 is equals to 8x which is yung middle term natin. So, satisfy ulit natin yung second rule. Ibig sabihin, ang equation na x squared plus 8x plus 16 equals 0 ay isang perfect trinomial. At kaya mo na ito agad i-factor para malaman ang roots nito. So, paano naman kung hindi perfect trinomial kagaya nito? x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. So, ginitong equation, kailangan na natin gumamit ng completing the square. So, unang step, remove constant from variables. Kailangan natin matanggal ang third term or yung constant natin from variable side to right side ng equation. Gagamit tayo ng addition property of equality. So, para magawa yun, mag-add tayo ng negative 3 on both sides. So, magiging x squared minus 4x is equals to negative 3. So, pangalawang state, take, take the half of the middle term coefficient, then square. Kailangan natin gawin ay take natin ng half ng middle coefficient and square natin. So, magiging 4 over 2 square is equals to 4. And then, yung third step natin, i-add natin on both sides. Yung 4 na nakuha natin ay i-add na natin on both sides ng equation. So, magiging x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equals to negative 3 plus 4. Ang growth dito ay kung ano ang i-add mo sa right side ay i-add mo rin sa left side. So, next ay simplify natin. Magiging x squared minus 4x 
plus 4 equals 1. Then, yung pang-apat na step ay factor left side perfect trinomial equation. Pwede na natin i-factor yung nasa left side ng equation dahil ito ay perfect trinomial na. Magiging x minus 2 squared equals 1. Then, yung fifth step, extract using square roots and solve for the roots. Isusolve na natin yung mga roots ng equation na ito. I-take natin yung square root ng both sides. Magiging square root of x minus 2 squared equals square root of 1. Then, x minus 2 is equals to square root of 1. Magiging x minus 2 is equals to positive negative 1. Then, yung unang root natin ay x minus 2 equals plus or positive 1. So, mag ulit tayo dito ng addition property of equality. mag ka ng positive 1 on both sides. I'm sorry, positive 2 on both sides. So, magiging x equals to 3. Yan yung unang root natin. Then, yung pangalawa naman ay x minus 2 equals negative 1. Apply ka ulit ng addition property. So, mag ka ng positive 2 on both sides. So, magiging x equals to 1. So, ang value ng x sa given equation na ito ay x equals 3 and x equals 1. Mag-solve pa tayo ng ibang example. Try natin ang 4x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. Sa ganitong equation, ay kailangan muna natin ma-reduce sa 1 ang coefficient ng leading term. So, mag-divide tayo ng 4 on all terms. So, magiging 4x squared divide 4 is equals to x squared. 4x divide 4 equals x. Then, copy the 3 fourths and is equals to 0 divided by 4 is equals to 0. So, pwede na tayo mag sa mga steps natin. Yung unang step, number 1 is remove constant from variables. So, mag add tayo ng 3 fourths on both sides. Magiging x squared minus x minus 3 fourths is equals to 0 plus 3 fourths on both sides. So, magiging x squared minus x is equals to 3 fourths. Then, second step, take the half of middle coefficient, then square. So, yung middle coefficient natin dito ay 1. So, magiging 1 over 2 square is equals to 1 fourth. Then, yeah, add natin yun on both sides. Yun yung sa third step natin. So, magiging x squared minus x plus 1 fourth is equals to 3 fourths plus 1 fourth. Then, simplify natin x squared plus x plus 1 fourth is equals to 4 over 4 or 1. Yung apat na, pang apat na step natin is factor left side perfect trinomial equation. Ang magandang paraan mga kanumero para sa factoring ay kung ano yung half ng middle coefficient ay ayun na rin ang factor nito. So, magiging x minus 1 half square 
equals 1. So, yung last step natin, yung number 5, extract using square root, then solve for the roots. So, square root of x minus 1 half square is equals to square root of 1. Then, x minus 1 half is equals to positive negative 1. Then, solve na natin yung mga roots. Unang root natin ay x minus 1 half equals 1. So, mag-apply ulit tayo ng addition property of equality. Add tayo ng 1 half in both sides. So, x minus 1 half is equals to 1. Add 1 half on both sides. So, magiging x is equals to 1 and 1 half. So, para makonvert natin sa improper fraction, yung 1 in 1 half, i-multiply natin yung denominator sa whole number, then add natin yung numerator, and copy the denominator. So, magiging x is equals to 2 times 1 plus 1 is equals to 3, copy the denominator, 2 equals to 3 halves or 3 over 2 then yung second root natin ay x minus 1 half is equals to negative 1 so apply ulit tayo ng addition property add tayo ng 1 half on both side so magiging x is equal to 1 half so ang roots natin sa equation na ito I um, x is equals to 3 over 2 and then x is equals to 1 half. Kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na ito ay please like and subscribe para mas marami pa tayong pag-aaral ng math.